So an ellipse is a set of all points in a plane such that the sum of the distances um, from two fixed points is constant. So kind of like a circle, equidistant, but in this case we have two distances and we add them together and that's what's the same. So each of the fixed points is called a focus. So we've got focus one, focus two. In our orbit around the sun, the sun always sits at the one focus and the earth sort of gets slingshotted, slingshot, uh, around the sun over and over again. So each of these fixed points is called a focus. Together the plural is called a foci. foci. And so if you find the distance from P to F1 and the distance from P to F2, that's called the focal radii. And if you add this distance plus this distance, that's the same all the way around. So if we found another point and found that distance and took that distance, or found another point down here and found this distance plus this distance. It always is the same. The sum of the distances are the same. So right in between the two foci are the, is the center. It's the midpoint of the line segment joining the foci. And then the long axis, long one, so this is the major axis, unless the ellipse is taller then up and down would be the major axis. And then the minor axis, notice that the foci, sorry, always go on the major axis. And the minor axis then is the shorter one. Containing, uh, it also contains the center and it's perpendicular to the major axis. So, we can have an ellipse that is wider than it is tall, or we can have an ellipse that is taller than it is wide. Nothing at all changes. And it'll actually be easier once we stick numbers in here to make sense of all of this. Notice just like the circle, we have an x minus h squared and a y minus k squared. But instead of being equal to r squared, we have it divided. The x is divided by an a squared and the y is divided by a b squared. This a is going to tell you how far left and right to go. And notice that it's a squared, and so that's your a value. It's underneath the x, so it's telling you left and right. The b squared is going to tell you how far up and down to go from the center. So it's underneath the y, it's telling you up and down. This c squared, c is distance... two foci from center. Notice that with the vertical, the only thing that they swapped is that the B and the A swap. It's really the same exact equation. Nothing's changed except they like to have both equations and say that A is always bigger than B. And so if the bigger number is underneath X, it's going to go further left and right than it is going to go up and down. But if the bigger number is underneath y, now this is how far up and down you go. A. Notice you have to take the square root of what's underneath. And this is how far left and right we go, the b. Um, when it opens, when it's wider than it is tall, this is some c value where the focus are, foci are and C. And if it's taller, it's going to go up and down. And so the foci will be on the major axis there. Um, how do you find the foci? C squared is A squared minus B squared. Or in other words, the big one squared minus the small one squared. Because A is always bigger than B. So let's see it in action. Graph the ellipse, 4x squared plus y squared equals 64. Well, it's not exactly in um, the proper notation yet. So what we're going to do is divide both sides by 64. Because if you look at your main equation, it's got to be set equal to 1. So let's get it set equal to 1. 4 divided by 64 is x squared over 16. And then the y squared would be y squared over 64. 
We divide both of them, set equal to 1. This one doesn't have the x, the x minus h and y minus k, and so the center is 0, 0. Um, and so here's our y-axis and our x-axis. So here we have it. This 16 is the number underneath x squared. a squared equals 16. And so a is equal to 4. And because it's underneath the x, it's telling us how far left and right to go from our center. And so I'm going to go to the right 1, 2, 3, 4 and plot a point and go to the left one, two, three, four, and plot a point. So this is going to be four, zero, and negative four, zero. B squared is 64, and so B is going to be eight. Take the square root, and that's going to tell you how far up and down to go because that's underneath the Y. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 0, 8. 0, negative 8. And there is your ellipse, um, if you want to graph it. Our foci. c squared equals a squared minus b squared. In our case, a squared, well, in every case, a squared is always the bigger one. So 64 minus 16. So that's the square root of 50. Um, so that's c squared. 64 minus 16. I'm sorry, that's not correct. I was thinking 66 for some odd reason. So 48. Square root of 48. Um, 48 has a 4 in it. 4 times 6, no, 4 times 12, so it's actually 16 times 3. Um, 16 times 3, so the exact answer for the foci would be 4 square root 3, and so we're going to go up and down 4 root, square root 3, 0 plus or minus 4 square root 3. But if you want to know what that was approximately, well, it's 48, so it's got to be more than 6 and less than 7. Almost 7, 6.9. So we're going to be going right here for the focus and right here for the focus. And there we have it. So, next example. Find the equation of ellipse with x intercepts root 2 and negative root 2 and y intercepts 3 and negative 3. So, still centered around 0, 0. x squared plus y squared. We have to figure out how far left and right and how far up and down. This is the left and right because that's the x-intercepts. And so if we square root 2, that's what's going underneath our x, 2. And our y-intercepts are 3 squared, and so that's 9 and so there is our equation. Find an equation of an ellipse having foci negative 3, 0, and 3, 0. So we've got a focus, and the sum of focal radii is equal to 12. So what we mean by sum of focal radii? The distance from any point, think of this point as being this plus this, and so talked about how the sum of the focal radii, back here, sum of focal radii is always 2a. And so 12 is equal to 2a, length of the major axis. C is equal to 3. And so c squared is equal to 9. So I'm going to keep that handy. 
if 12 is the length of the major axis, half of that is a, or divide that by 2, and so a is equal to 6, and so a squared is equal to 36. Because this is the major axis, a has to be the bigger one. So c squared equals a squared minus b squared, so that 9 equals 36 minus what? So if you solve this for b squared, b squared equals 36 minus 9, which is 27. Notice that this is b squared, and you could figure out how far up and down you have to go in order to get your ellipse, or how far left and right you have to go. Um, but we're just looking for the equation, and in our equation, the foci are left and right, so big number goes underneath the x. So it's going to be the x squared over our 36, which is our big one, plus y squared over our b squared. So we don't even have to take the square root of 27 because we need the squared number in our equation. All right, so find an equation of ellipse having foci, negative 3, 4, All of this is going to be relative placement. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. One focus, 9, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Focus 1, focus 2. Let's first find the center. It's the midpoint of our two foci. And so we know the center is going to have a 4 as a y, but what's the middle of our foci? So that's going to be negative 3 plus 9 divided by 2. We're finding the average, and so that's 6 divided by 2, so that's 3. So that's our center. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can start sort of filling in our equation. x minus our 3 squared, x minus h, plus, and that's going to go over something, plus y minus 4 squared equals 1. So now we just have to figure out, okay, how far left and right did we go? How far up and down? So we know our c. Our c is how far we went left and right. We went from 3 to 9, and so c is going to be 6. So that's our c value. So c squared is 81. The sum of the focal radii is 14. So this tells us 2a equals 14, so a equals 7. So a squared equals 49. Because the foci are horizontal, I know this one has to be the big number. So I'm going to stick it underneath x because I know it's the big one. So then c squared equals a squared minus b squared, the big one minus the small one. So 81 has to be equal to 49. This is not making any sense. Um, so let's change our focal radii because our focal radii didn't make much sense. Negative 3, 4, 9, 4. So let's make our focal radii 20 in order for that to be true. So if that's true, we've got 2a is 20, so that makes a 10, a squared 100. And so that, that'll be 100 now. So for this to be 100, that makes this 100 minus what? So that makes b squared have to be 19. And so our 19 is what's going to be going in our equation right there. And that is how you find an equation.